So let's review what is happening here. From the positive of the battery goes to the positive of the coil which has a capacitor connected between the positive of the coil and the negative of the coil. From the high voltage outlet of the coil on top by a high tension cable or any other electric cable goes to one side, one polarity of the gas lamp. From the opposite side of the gas lamp it comes back to the negative side of the coil again. Then from the same negative side of the coil there's a wire coming to my relay and the relay outlet connects to the negative side of the battery and we have energy flowing. Now I'm just going to remove this one for a second, add in the second light. This is, there's a lot more experiments that was done with this system and a lot more very very interesting results. You can find all of this on an energetic forum under the section of uh, Emotip. Now we have two lights, still one battery and one coil and they are still lighting up. It's quite a noisy system, it's quite a bit of flickering and flashing. By using more capacitors and rheostat you can change the frequency on which the whole thing will be running. I'll be back in a second. Something which I've not tried before, but out of curiosity now, I would like to see how the possibility is for this thing to work. Let's just put it up. Let's put it up straight, straight along. So take that one away. Put this cable on the one side of the of the fluorescent tube. Put the high tension cable on the other side of the of the fluorescent tube. It doesn't matter which one you are connecting it up to. Let me hold it there. Short out. And there is the fluorescent tube running. So we have positive battery, positive side of the coil. Negative side of the coil coming to the one side of the sorry negative side of the coil comes to the uh, to the relay relay to the negative side of the battery. High tension cable coming out to the one side of the fluorescent light. The other side of the fluorescent light connect, connects to the one side of the of the coil. So let me look, show you something else on this thing. There is quite a bit of high tension sparks. So look at the spark that you find there. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer here. With the sparks, the light is not too strong, but then when it makes dead contact, it is quite strong. Let me get back, take that one out, go back to the original. The lights connecting up this one. I just for the sake of interest, I'm going to connect my battery to this multimeter and we're going to measure amps. DC amp, DC battery, the whole circuit is still DC, although it is flashing, it is still DC, it's not changing. The two lights is taking 4.4 amp. So let's just stop that for a second. Put one light on. Run it again. Folks, can you see why we're getting excited? Now we have 4.43, 4.35, So theoretically, one light gives me 4.3, two lights gives me 4.4. .4. 
stop that for. Let me add in another tube here. So we go. Two lights. We go to the third light. We connect that up there. And we are connecting up the meter. Now there's some little bit of a spark that is not the nice thing now. So, up is the meter. 4.3, 6, 4.38, 4.3, 4.28. Excuse me, we have three lights running. I'm just going to terminate again. Let us go through the negative side of it. So I'm bringing the lights closer. Now we have three lights operating. They are flashing quite a lot. They are not as strong as what only one light is. And we have amp 4.2. One, two, three. Now try and remember the strong strength of those globes taking off one of them to one side that's it folks this is a very simplified version of the Emotep radiant oscillator very easy to modify very easy to mold very easy to play with and be careful because uh, there is high voltage I will show you some of it Hey, come on, Malanti, you see, I want you. I am not touching the high voltage lines. I'm just having this cable in my hand and the tube, but it still shocks me. If I'm not mistaken, that should not be. You look what is happening. This light is not connected, it's only got one connection and my hand is not touching any cable. It is the high voltage passing through myself and the light is flickering. Okay, now I need to connect this one up there, take this little wakey out. That's high voltage. Gives a spark of nearly that's something like 20 centimeters. That's it folks. Time to break up. Let's get on to the next one.